do is, all I do is, all I do is win, 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 no matter what. Hey Philadelphia, I'm Crystal Rich here for Philly Sports Pulse. We had an exclusive opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one with Eagles cornerback Curtis Marsh. Marsh is a rookie to the team who has speed and agility and above all else, a passion to play for our city, the Philadelphia Eagles. Check it out. Marsh, a California native, attended Utah State, where he ranked second in the Western Athletic Conference and passes defended. So Curtis, you were the third round 90th overall pick in the 2011 NFL Draft. Take us back to that day. Where were you at? What were you doing? Hopefully paying attention. What was going through your mind when they called your name? I was so excited. You know, I was with my family in uh, Senior Valley, California, my hometown. And uh, I had like maybe 15, 20 family and friends over. There was only like 10 picks left when I got drafted in the third round. And the next day, would have cut off. So I was getting kind of nervous that I wanted to get drafted that day. But uh, came through, and I was just really excited to hear Coach Reed's voice and everybody's voice when he called me. Because my family went crazy too. I was kind of just on the phone, just smiling, and everybody else was just really excited. I was just, you know, I didn't know what to say. You're playing on a team with a whole bunch of future Hall of Famers. I'm on the depth charts with Asante Samuels, who's a four time Pro Bowler. How are the Philadelphia Eagles and specifically the defensive players helping you get acclimated here in Philly? They're doing a great job, you know. Um, I got the room with Navi Osmoa during the training camp, and he's just like really nice guy. He helped me so much, and so did uh, uh, Dominic Rogers Camardi when he came in. Like our, you know, the way we play is, is kind of similar, so he can give me a lot of tips on how to use my speed and my size, and just how to get out there and play. Um, and then, you know, Sante's been helping me a great deal too. You know, those guys are just. They're great, and it's, I feel so you know, blessed and thankful to, to be on the same team with them and that they've been helping me you know, to be a better player. Speaking of speed and agility, that's something that's crucial to your position as a cornerback. So how do you kind of use your speed and channel your speed to get the best benefit that you possibly can on the field? That's actually one of the things Dominic's helped me with since I got to this level. But um, the main thing is when you're backpedaling, you know, because we're seven, eight years, yards off, and you're looking at the quarterback at first, just to be slow, you know, don't get out too fast because, you know, you have time to stay in your pedal and open up and run, especially if you can run like I can, you know, so the key is to just be patient at first and not backpedal too fast. As soon as you give enough space, then the receiver can sit down, quarterback can hit him real quick, and you gotta make an open field tackle. Marsh ended his senior season at Utah with his personal career high of 45 tackles, two interceptions, and 13 breakup passes. One of your obvious goals must be to one day be a starter. And Andy Reid said that there's a great possibility you have a lot of potential. He's athletic really, really developed into a, a fine football player and, uh, and a starter eventually here for, uh, for the Philadelphia Eagles. Tell us some of your goals that you do have with the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, I love this game and I, w I wanna play. You know, I'm happy to be here, but at the same time, that's not the only reason I'm here. I, I wanna be like, um, you know, Asante and Dominic and, and Dominic one day. I want to be in the Pro Bowl. I want to be that guy on the team. And I feel like I can be. I, oh, I have to keep working. You know, I just have to keep learning every day, uh, being a sponge. And it's just a little thing, you know, just just like Coach Reed said, I feel like I have all the potential, all the athletic abilities, but it's, it's the game slowing down and, you know, getting a hang for the playbook and um, doing the little things right in my technique and being consistent. I think that's what it takes to be a starter. Coaches Andy Reid, the new defensive coordinator, wants to still. How are, how are they training you, and are you fitting in well with their defensive schemes? It's just film study every day. You go out there, um, obviously you make mistakes in practice, you get them corrected, and then the next day you, know, you get that fix and it's on to something else. So that's the main thing, and they're just giving me tips every day on, on how to get better. and. Um, I think I fit in the system well. We do a lot of man-to-man -man stuff, and um, that's kind of what I did in college for the most part. So we challenge our corner, uh, challenge our DB, and um, that's the thing you can't be you can't be scared of. You have to be, you know, on that island, and you have to play fast. In college, you were actually a running back, and then your senior year, you transitioned over to defense. 
he must be happy with the decision to switch to defense. You know, it got you in the NFL. So what kind of prompted that transition, and are you most comfortable with the cornerback position on the field? I'm, I'm very comfortable with just playing corner on the field, and, and it was a good decision because um, I, I love to play running back, and I feel like I was a good running back, but with my height, weight, speed, and abilities, I feel like you know, I kind of maximize what I can do on the football field at the corner. This is a big one. I want to know your opinion about athletes and social networking. For example, Twitter being the main one. I feel like it can be a really good thing. And at the same time, like that can be a really bad thing, you know? Um, just like they tell you, you are your own brand when you're here. So everything you put on Twitter, you know, you can reach your fans and you can create like a name for yourself. But at the same time, you tweet the wrong thing and it's on Sports Center, you can get fined. You know, just like that, you know, as soon as you press in, you know, just like Carmelo would say, as soon as you press in, it's out there and, you know, it's out there forever. All I do is win, 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 no matter if you want to follow Curtis Marsh on Twitter, you can do so at KurtMarsh31. I'm Curtis Marsh, and you're watching Philly Sports Post.